Today I'm going to show you how to use the epoxy method to apply your glitter to your tumblers. I prefer this method to the Mod Podge as I find it easier to work with and it provides better coverage with only one coat of glitter. Some items we'll be using today include medicine cups. You can see that there's many different measurements on all the sides that you can use. We'll be using this measure to measure out our epoxy into equal parts electrical tape, tongue depressor, these can be purchased in bulk on Amazon, fine sandpaper, gloves, paintbrush, acetone, Part A, Part B of epoxy. I use Pro Marine. Tumbler. And Polaris. This is one of the glitters that was in the pack that we had last week. First thing I want to do is tape off the bottom of the tumbler. I find that people tend to bang the bottom of their cups around, putting them in and out of cup holders. I choose not to glitter and epoxy the bottom of my tumblers to help avoid cracks in the epoxy later. I use electrical tape to tape around the bottom. I prefer it to painter's tape. I find that the epoxy doesn't seep through under the tape when I use the, paint, when I use the electrical tape. We're just going to take the electrical tape here. Let me find the end. And we're going to put it right here on the silver part. And you're just going to put it all the way around. At the end, it should look like this. You can still see the bottom here, but the black is taped around the metal part. Next thing we want to do is sand down the tumbler. If you start with a stainless steel tumbler that is not already coated, you would sand it down the same way and then paint it if you chose to have a base color for your glitter. I mostly use white as a base color for my glitter, so I like to use the ones that tumblers that already come white. I will sand this up and down, all the way around, and then in a circular motion to scratch it up so the epoxy will adhere to the cup well. Next, we'll take the acetone because we're going to clean it to get all of the sanding residue off. A little piece of paper towel and I just clean it all the way around. All right, now we want to mix the epoxy. For most epoxies the ratio is one to one equal parts of both A and B. You're not going to be using much epoxy to do this method, but for this tutorial I'm going to measure out one teaspoon of each part. So I did them separate here. You could also measure them out in one cup holder instead of separately. You would need to do part A first and then part B. So I'll measure out one teaspoon. Just let that level out a little bit. And even this is going to be considerably more than we'll probably end up using.
And once that levels out a bit, I'll pour in part B. It's kind of hard to see on here, but they one just sits on top of the other. They don't mix until you mix them. For today, I'm going to put part B into part A. I always put part B into part A. It's just easier, but it's really your preference. I use the tongue depressor to make sure that I can scrape all the liquid out to get as much of it into the other medicine cup so that it stays equal parts. Make sure that you scrape the sides you scrape the bottom. And then we're just gonna mix. The most important thing with mixing the epoxy is to make sure that it's mixed well. And to do this, you're going to make sure that you put your tongue depressor all the way to the bottom and stir. And you also want to scrape the sides like so to make sure you're getting all of the epoxy parts mixed together. I find that you can't ever mix the epoxy too much. You can't under mix the epoxy and it won't dry properly but I've never been able to over mix it. You just want to mix it to the point where it's looking clear and not cloudy. I don't really worry about the bubbles at this point. They're not going to show under the glitter. One more good scrape around the sides. Let me see here. Is it getting there? Almost. I'm going to do it just for about one more minute here. good okay just scrape off your tongue depressor and then you can throw this away if you want to we're ready to add epoxy to our tumbler now and then add our glitter all right we're ready to epoxy the tumbler before we add the glitter I built this it's with the rotisserie motor been seen on a lot of places. I think I YouTubed it. I use it only for this purpose. After I decorate the cups, they actually go on a different turner that maybe I can show you in a future tutorial. This is a pool noodle that I've cut down. I just put the cup on top, make sure that it's pushed in really well. And then I'm going to turn it on, see it's going. I'm going to put my gloves on. You really just need one. Unless you're messy, you might need two. All right. Now I don't want to put a lot on because I want to make a very thin coat around the entire cup. 
So my motor's not on, it's standing still. I'm just gonna pour some. And hopefully that will get our whole cup done. I just sort of spread it out here on top in the beginning. And then I take my finger with one and I push the epoxy all around the side of the cup as far as it'll take me. And I just keep doing that all the way to the bottom. Put it back around, put my finger down, push the epoxy all the way around as far as I can. there. All right, then I'm just going to go up the entire cup. I'm going to turn my rotisserie motor on. It makes it easier to move. And I'm just pushing the epoxy, spreading out the entire cup. And it's okay if it gets down here on the black part because we're going to take that off in just a moment. Just spreading out the epoxy, making sure the whole cup is covered. Something personal that I do is I go around the entire cup this way with my finger to make sure that the epoxy is attaching to every part of the cup. Keeps me from getting fish eyes and dents in the glitter. I just go all the way around. Keep going as the cup's turning by the motor. sure that I'm getting in that bottom crease because we want a nice crisp crisp line of glitter there. Make sure you're getting all the way on the end. Okay, and then I'm going to go one more time pushing the epoxy upward from the black all the way around. And you can see I'm sort of pushing my finger off the edge of the cup, making sure the glitter is going to be able to cover all the way up to the edge. Almost all the way around here. Okay, I think that's all the way around. I can discard this glove now, I won't be needing it anymore. I'm gonna turn the tumbler off. This is where I'm gonna take off that tape. So I'm gonna find the end of the tape here. And I'm gonna peel it all the way off. And now I have a nice crisp line that has epoxy and no epoxy. Now when I glitter, you're gonna be see how I'm able to just brush it off here and get a nice clean metal line. All right, I'm gonna remove the towel, paper towel. We're not gonna to need that again. Now I take um, three to four sheets of copy paper because we want to preserve as much glitter as possible. We don't want to waste it. It can be expensive. All right. And then we'll be able to save our extra because I'm going to use a whole lot here to make sure I get it really good and covered. a little bit more the camera stands impedes it just a little bit okay so we're going to use Polaris as I mentioned earlier Got to take the cap out put the cap back 
seconds. I want to turn the motor on so the cup is spinning. And then I'm going to sprinkle from the top side to side. Just want to get all the glitter possible on there. Okay. And I'm going to keep sprinkling it even though I see it's all covered just because I want to get as much as possible on this first coat. If I can avoid having to do a second coat, that's the best outcome. Not to mention, look at how sparkly this is. I'm loving that. And you can see that I'm sprinkling all the way to the bottom, even on the metal part. But we're going to fix that here in just a minute so that it's not going to show that. So you'll see that I'm using almost the entire bottle of glitter. Let's see there. I actually probably will put the entire thing on here. So as I said before, we want to keep this metal part nice and clean. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit so that you can see it really good. There's glitter here still on the bottom part. And I'm going to be able to just brush that right away. because I didn't have to put any epoxy there. I used to just clean it with baby wipes, which worked, except the wet from the baby wipes still adhered to the glitter and I found it harder to get it off later. So by taping it, I'm able to just brush off the dry metal part of the glitter and I don't have to worry about wiping it later. silver part is all clean again. I hear a lot of people complain about getting glitter inside their tumbler. I use a brush. I stick it inside the tumbler and I just brush the glitter out as it goes around. You're still going to get a little in there, but it's really easy to brush out when you're done. Try and brush everything off. The turner here. So I want to save all of that. Okay. And now we're ready to take it off. Also by not glittering the bottom, it makes it easier for me to handle it when I'm ready to take it off the turner. So I'm going to turn the motor off. Grab the metal part. Look at that shine. That is so pretty. No effects or anything. It's actually not great lighting either and it's still sparkling. Amazing. Okay. And then if you didn't get all the glitter out, again, take the brush into the cup and just brush it out. I just hit the inside of the cup to make sure I get all the loose glitter off. Sure, that sounds amazing. All right, I'm gonna move the camera over here so I can show you the finish product. Put it in the camera well. See, 
It's a nice, good, clean coat. I'm only going to have to have done that one. I won't have any issues. And maybe the next tutorial I'll show you how I epoxy it after it's glittered. All right, that's it. The epoxy met method to glitter your tumblers. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Bye. I realized I forgot to show you how to get all this glitter back into the bottle. So first thing I'm gonna do is remove my tumbler turner. I'm gonna turn it this other direction. I'm going to take the paper and I'm going to try and get all this glitter back onto one piece of paper. Clean. I'm going to take this one and put it on this paper. Okay. I'm going to take this one. It wouldn't normally be this ripped if this camera wasn't here, so I wouldn't nearly be losing as much glitter. So I'm going to try and scrape that over here. All right. Now this is all the leftover glitter that we had. And I'm just going to take my cup. Fold my paper in half, and let's see if I can back this up so you can see it happen. I'm just going to dump it back in. It's not really a good way to show it going in. Oh, I'm dropping it off the table. Usually this isn't as messy, I'm not trying to put it on camera. Okay. And then you can use your paintbrush if you'd like. I just brush it all that I can, don't want to waste any. On off the side of my desk. Again, just fold again, put it back in the cup. And then you can see we have lots of glitter again, almost full. Use a very minute amount of glitter to glitter one tumbler.